Good morning. I haven't done a video in a while. Um, still doing, still doing all right. Uh, man, um, the YouTube thing, I just, uh, I haven't really felt like doing it just because, uh, a lot of people know, like, you know, my channel, I've had my, my dog on my channel for a long time. And, uh, sadly she passed away, uh, on August the 27th. And, um, you know, I knew that was, you know, that there was a long time coming. She was, a, you know, a rather large dog and she was 14 and a half. And, you know, I knew that that, that time was going to come and obviously it was just as stressful and, and sad and, and difficult to deal with uh, that I thought it would be. And, um, you know, so, so I, I just realized like, well, you know, it, 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 it definitely, you know, when things get tough and, and, and life, you know, is throwing things at you, like the YouTube thing, uh, or even really any of my side ventures that I've ever done, uh, that has to go on the back burner. And I feel like back when I was younger, I did not put that stuff on the back burner as well as I should have, um, you know, especially when my children were younger. I don't know that I'd ever be where I, I am in my career, though, if I hadn't have done that. So it's, um, you know, it's sort of difficult. Like, I have some regrets. Like, yeah, I work too much. And, uh, uh, but then at the same time, you know, I, I think, you know, I, I remember my, my grandfather, who's also since passed away a few years ago, but I remember having a conversation with him when I was pretty young. And I was on this, like, you know, sort of, like, spiritual high horse of, like, yeah, you know, you could work. And I, I think, you know, I worked at an insurance company at the time and I was like thinking of the CEO who basically dedicated his whole life to the company. And I remember thinking like, um, you know, what a waste of, of time that is because like your whole life, I mean, you literally started working at this company at like the age of 18. And then, you know, you spent your entire 65 years um, or not 65, I guess it would have been about 55 years for this dude. Uh, anyway, your whole life devoted to this company. And I remember thinking like, you know, all that work and all that effort, what is your legacy going to be? Like, nobody's going to remember who you are, obviously, even a generation from now. Um, you know, if the company sticks around for a long period of time, like you'll have like a picture on the wall of the office, you know, if there's even an office. And, um, you know, ultimately that legacy, right, is, 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 you know, the family and friends that you leave behind. And, and, uh, and, and I just remember thinking like, you know, what a waste of time. And my grandfather was like, well, you know, the, basically the, the good things in life that that dude's been able to provide, whether it was, you know, college for his kids or grandkids or whatever, uh, or the places and things he was able to do, um, you know, basically makes it worth it. And I'm summarizing this uh, quite a bit, but it just, it sort of made me think, you know, at the time, because I was, I was like, working quite a bit um but i'd have to say like you know nothing in life comes easy right you have to work for everything you want so if you're going to school uh or you're definitely trying to get a job out, uh, without going to school it's going to take a lot of effort and it certainly did for me so i can't say i have any regrets but you know losing my dog it definitely made me think like um it it just it made me understand that there's much more important things than working or YouTube or the latest technologies or trying to brush up on your coding skills or your interviewing skills or your soft skills or, um, you know, all that stuff I think has to be secondary to uh, finding peace and happiness within yourself, right? So I've found, in my own personal opinion, um, obviously because I'm talking, uh, but the things that like I tried to, like I, I used to point to like, okay, if I could just make a hundred thousand dollars a year, then, you know, everything would be great. Right. Um, and I remember I would work and strive to that and I was like making 40,000 or 45,000 a year at the time. And I'm thinking a hundred thousand, you know, total game changer. And then you get to that hundred thousand mark and you're like, man, um, you know, I thought it'd be a little bit different. And then you're like, yeah, I need like, you know, it's just like 150 probably to live comfortably. And then you get to that and you're like, damn, I still have a bunch of debt. Still have all these bills and things on the horizon, kids, college, all this. 
So you're like, yeah, you probably need like 200, you know? And then you get to 200 and you're looking for 250. And you get to 250 and you're like, man, I need at least 250 base and another 50,000 bonus. Um, and I guess that's just the normal track um, for a lot of people. It really depends on the area that you live in. I live in one of the more expensive areas, so like 250 is really not that much. You know, most families probably make 250. It's usually two people working together, and the, each one's making at least, you know, 100. Um, so that's sort of, you know, just base level middle class around where I live. And um, all that said, it, take, it took a tremendous amount of work to get there. And, you know, I could be like, well, if I didn't do that, I could be working you know, construction, or maybe I have some like, you know, white collar desk job or something making 75, 80 a year. And, um, and I just don't know that I care either way. Like, I really don't, I, I don't, I don't care that I made a bunch of money and spent it all or make a bunch now and be able to live comfortably. Or if I were to have lived my life, you know, making 80,000 a year, none of that really matters because like, I've thrown cars and, you know, houses and vacations and just all these different, you know, things, right, to, to try to, like, you know, I guess maybe justify my hard work or existence or whatever, just to try to, like, appreciate life more, make life more exciting or better or whatever. Anyway, that all said, I don't really care. Um, I don't really care about any of the past, really. I can't do anything about the fact that I worked a lot. Um, I'm still raising two children on my own. They're actually both adults now, but, you know, that doesn't mean that you're not, you know, that you're done uh, raising kids, you know, sadly. Um, not really sadly, but it is what it is. And um, I don't... Uh, I can't say I have any regrets uh, and I can't say that I'm also super satisfied with all the decisions that I've ever made but all this boils down to the fact that I lost my dog and, and you know immediately I'm just like well I got no time for YouTube and I got no time for side things you know and like I'm you know I've been working on this virtual reality video game for now almost two years and you know that's probably not going to get done anytime soon and I'm okay with that too um those things used to stress me out, like, oh, I got to do this, you know, because even the YouTube thing, it was like, if I just get 100,000 subscribers or 200, like, if I get 200, then, you know, that explosion will happen that happens to other people and you'll get to a million. And then maybe if I get to a million, maybe I could do that full time or something. It's like, why? I, I'm glad that never happened. Um, I look at all the, the YouTube stuff and, and uh, I don't look at it even anymore, but I, I've seen it enough from afar to know that, like, I'm very grateful that um, that didn't happen to me to be able to like think that I could do YouTube full time because uh, that would have not ended up well for me at all uh, or my family. And I say that because um, like a couple years ago, this was like pre pandemic, I was actually considering um, quitting my job. And at the time I was living with my girlfriend and I was like thinking that, you know, I would be able to pay the bills and things um, that I needed to pay. And with her support and all this, I would be able to pursue things full time. And I can't say I have any regrets on uh, not doing that. You know, something inside of me said, that's, that's not a good idea. Don't do that. Don't leave the workforce. Um, and I'm glad that I didn't. And uh, I definitely don't have any regrets on that. And again, you could look back and be like, well, I didn't take that chance and this and that. And like a lot of people on their deathbed, like they, they have regrets about chances they didn't take. But I think I've taken enough to where I don't care about that either. Um, anyway, yeah, it's sad losing your dog. Like um, my dog was like a partner in life. You know, I had her for 14 and a half years. I mean, every morning, every night, uh, you know, feeding her, like, you know, the routines that we had together and all that. And you know, they, they say man's best friend, and that, that is true. Like, um, you know, when she died, like, a, it almost felt like a piece of my soul kind of, like, went with her. And, um, and, you know, I had the typical, like, grieving in the sense that it was very unusual that, you know, it's not like I was, like, um, you know, I was definitely sad, but it made me look at life and realize, like, I'm not afraid of death. And 
when you lose like something that is very close to you, it almost makes you not want death, but like you just simply don't care. Like you know that like, you know, people have to die. Things have are, are gonna die. Dogs are gonna die. Like they, they have to. Um, and we will too. And so now I have a new dog. Okay, come here, bud. I just got him. Same kind of dog. Um, same as Cosmo. But anyway, I didn't actually consider it too much when I ended up getting him. I, uh, I sort of did it on a whim. He came from a farm in, in North Carolina, and uh, but it's you know it's just part of my routine and identity that that I want to have a dog. And like I've already taken him fishing, and we go hiking. We're gonna go hiking today. Uh, he goes on car rides all the time. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna enjoy the day, and uh, I just wanted to do a quick video, and don't really know what the point is. I, I think the point is, um, you know, live your life and don't don't be stressing about all this like technology stuff, like. Learn it as you can because uh, learning is going to be easier and more fun if you have all the other things in balance. All right, bye.